Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Where are my brown dwarfs? I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. Button, baby. Stay cool. Thor News presents. Hot dang. Look, I've stumbled across a real scientific Planet X story. Is Planet X to blame for Earth's mass extinctions? Wait, all of them or just one or two? We are UPI at home with their science news by Brooks Hayes, March 30th, 2016. It's not the first time Daniel Whitmire, now a math teacher at the University of Arkansas, has made such a claim in a major scientific journal. Yeah, but I bet those guys at like MIT or uh, Caltech don't listen to them because if you ain't from Harvard, Smithsonian, Caltech, or MIT, they don't give a crap about you, man. Those scientists are uppity. Fayetteville, Arkansas. Earlier this year, scientists at Caltech offered the most convincing evidence yet of a ninth planet, Planet X. What? We're calling Planet 9 Planet X? That's confusing. Now, a retired astrophysicist suggests the hidden planet is responsible for Earth's periodic mass extinctions, like the disappearance of the dinosaurs. What happens? It swings by and then our poles flip and everything gets all wonky and 95% of everything dies and gravity gets heavier or lighter, maybe, I don't know. In a new study published in the Journal of Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, Daniel Wittemeyer argues that an undiscovered ninth planet triggers disruptive comet showers every 27 million years. Okay, great. Um, so planet 9 lights the comets on fire and then fires them at Earth, I guess. It's not the first time. Wittemeyer, now a math teacher at University of Arkansas, has made such a claim in the major scientific journal. In 1985, he offered a similar explanation for mass extinctions in the journal Nature, then an astrophysicist at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Wittemeyer and his research partner, John Matisse, pointed to evidence of a periodic comet showers in the fossil record dating back some 500 million years. In 1985, there were two alternate theories for what might trigger major comet showers a sister star to the sun, vertical oscillations of the sun as it orbits around the center of the Milky Way. Those theories have since been discredited, while the Planet X theory has acquired legitimacy. The Caltech study estimated Planet X to be approximately 10 times the mass of Earth, big enough to throw comets into the inner solar system as its oblong orbit sends it closer to the Kuiper belt every 27 million years. What? Wait, it only takes 20,000 years for Planet 9 to complete a full orbit, so why would it send comets raining down on Earth every 27 million years? That doesn't make any sense. The Kuiper Belt is a ring-shaped region of comets and other large bodies circling the solar system just beyond Neptune. Caltech researchers inferred the existence and path of a ninth planet by studying anomalies in the orbits of several major Kuiper Belt objects, which I've covered extensively. Be sure and click here, here, here if you want to watch in those videos. They're all awesome. Unless you're allergic to the Planet X subject, then, um, you know, enjoyed not liking them. Whitmire suggests, as they did in 1985, that a periodic invasion of comets results in violent collisions. Those that miss Earth disintegrate in the inner solar system and dim the sun's solar energy, cooling Earth. That means it causes a giant cloud of interstellar medium, dust, debris, junk, and that the Earth doesn't get as much light. A lot of that dust ends up on top of our atmosphere, blocking out the light. I know, which might counteract global warming, so maybe it's a good thing. Whitmire is hopeful additional evidence of Planet X can offer more answers about the evolution of the solar system and life on Earth. I've been part of this story for 30 years, he said in a news release. If there is ever a final answer, I'd love to write a book about it. Science fiction at its best. Not sure why you say that. It's actually a very legit theory. What you got? Not bright, are you? Quit calling it Planet X. Let's call it Planet 1X. More like a Noah's flood extinction. That was only 10,000 years ago. Doesn't fit with the theory. Thought about that too. Fun fact, are in a man-made mass extinction. Speak English much, write it much. Man, the science commentators aren't very good at writing. All right, we got a real university, asterisk, and a real scientist talking about Planet X. Periodic mass extinctions on Earth, as indicated in the global fossil record, could be linked to a suspected ninth planet. According to research published by a faculty member of the University of Arkansas Department of Mathematical Sciences. Man, screw math. Math is stupid. Though scientists have been looking for Planet X for 100 years, the possibility that it's real got a big boost recently when researchers from Caltech inferred its existence based on orbital anomalies, 
seen in objects in the Kuiper Belt, a, a disc-shaped region of comets and other larger bodies beyond Neptune. Him and Matisse's first work was published in 1985, Did Comets Kill the Dinosaurs? A Bold New Theory About Mass Extinctions. At the time, there are three explanations proposed to explain the regular comet showers. Planet X, the existence of a sister star to the Sun, and vertical oscillations of the Sun as it orbits the galaxy. The last two ideas have subsequently been ruled out as inconsistent with the paleontological record. Only Planet X remained as a viable scientific theory, and now it's getting renewed attention. What Meyer and Matisse's theory is that, as Planet X orbits the Sun, its tilted orbit slowly rotates, and Planet X passes through the Kuiper Belt of comets every 27 million years. I don't get that. Why would it pass through every 27 million years if it's got a 20,000 year orbit? And then it just dislodges all the comets like a pool ball, sending them straight to Earth. Newer research shows evidence of such events dating as far back as 50 million years. Wouldn't that mean we are um, 473 million years overdue? Whit Meyer and Matisse published their own estimate of the size of Planet X in their original study. They believed it would be one to five times the mass of Earth and about a hundred times more distant from the Sun. Much smaller numbers than Caltech's estimates. Matisse, oh hell yeah, Matisse has since retired and no longer publishes. Whitmire retired from the University of Louisiana in 2012 and began teaching at Arkansas in 2013. I've been part of this story for 30 years. If there ever is a final answer, I'd love to write a book about it. All right, there we go, from the horse's mouth himself. Summed it up. Is Planet X going to kill us one way or another? Maybe. But I doubt it. I would much more fear humans than human beings. Because at times they're very scary. They're cold and they're mean. But this is an interesting study. It's interesting. Anyway, peace out. Did we learn anything? Not really anything new. But there are scientists out there who believe Planet X is kicking comets our way. All right. Peace out. Doom, 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 ba doom, ba doom. Doom, 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 wah. Sweet. God bless everybody. is the record holder for Stellar Cool. Space underwear in your face!